Hey guys, Mr. X197 here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet analysis. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my new favorite pseudo legendaries, Baxcalibur. This new Pokemon is pretty insane. Being based off of a Kaiju, you'd expect this Mon to be pretty powerful, but boy oh boy I'd be lying if I didn't say I was shocked to see just how strong Baxcalibur is. Its name comes from a mix of Excalibur, the legendary sword held by King Arthur that is said to have magical powers, and Back. Like your back? Whoever came up with this name needs a serious raise, truly the golden peak of fiction right here. I mean, how could anyone have thought of something so amazing? All jokes aside, this guy not only has a killer design, but killer stats to boot. Taking a look at Baxcalibur, we see it's a Dragon Ice type, which is not the greatest of defensive typings, but certainly not the worst. Baxcalibur is weak to Fighting, Rock, Steel, Dragon, and Fairy. Yikes. Five weaknesses is a decent amount, but this Pokemon more than makes up for it offensively. On the attacking side, this Pokemon deals stab super effective damage to Flying, Ground, Grass, and Dragon types, which are very common types of strong Pokemon. Even without that though, this Mon's incredible attack stat of 145. Wait, am, am I reading this right? 145? That's the highest of any pseudo legendary ever. Who approved of this? <clears throat> this Mon's incredible attack stat of 145. Great HP stat of 115, decent bulk with a 95 in defense and 86 in special defense, plus a usable speed of 87 means this beast makes for a real powerhouse on the field. As if its stats weren't enough, Game Freak decided to give it one of the most amazing abilities of all time, Thermal Exchange. If you didn't know, Thermal Exchange not only increases the attack stat of the Pokemon when hit by a fire type move, but it also makes the Pokemon immune to burns. Okay, what? Forget status counterplay against Baxcalibur, as you can't half its offense with Will-O-Wisp, and now you have to be careful using any fire-type moves in fear of raising this monster's already high attack stat even higher. I'd love to say that this is it, and we just now have one of the strongest Pokemon ever in the game and move on, but there's still more. Okay, so some executive at Game Freak looked at Baxcalibur with its huge attack stat, great offensive typing, phenomenal ability, and said, hmm. This thing is not good enough and gave it an insane signature move. This move is none other than Glaive Rush, a 120 base power dragon type move with the drawback of doubling received damage on the next turn. Are you serious? A one turn outrage that's drawback isn't even that bad considering we can just use it again and knock up the opponent or if that's not possible switch out or even just protect and do it next turn, it's crazy. As ridiculous as this Mon is, I really do love it as a powerful Pokemon with a really cool design, no pun intended, and one of my favorite abilities to date. This seriously may be the first generation we see Garchomp in the underused tier. I mean, look at Baxcalibur. If that's not showing that power creep is real, I don't know what will. Well folks, that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy, please hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel, and comment what you'd like to see next. I'm planning on uploading a lot more analysis videos, so stick around if that's your cup of tea. And until next time, you guys, stay safe and have a good one.